There we go. Imagine. Oh, I got a fish. Hey everyone, Zach Finds Fish here. You guys are probably like, hey Zach, are you gonna ever fish your original honey hole? We're gonna try today. I got some things tied on that were from last video, or I guess, I don't know how long ago it was in the video scheme here. But I have a frog tied on, I have a topwater chopo tied on, and I have a craw tied on. I most likely will change some of those topwaters, but now I'm addicted to the frog bite. So I wanna try to throw the frog here, but otherwise I wanna see if we can pull some more fish out of my honey hole, my OG honey hole. It's been a while. Let's get down there. All right, if you guys are new to my channel, this is my OG honey hole. Hey everyone, Zach Finds Fish here. Before we get too deep into the video, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Over 91% of you guys enjoying the content have not clicked that button. And if you do, it's greatly appreciated. Thank you, everyone. I don't know how well it's gonna do. It's just after 10 o'clock. Hopeful that maybe we can pull some out with the frog. And again, if you guys didn't know, I'm very much against now spider wire easy braid. I find I found that braid to constantly backlash. I found that braid to um, it, it just I lost lures constantly. So I've been using now the suffix Pro Mix on my spinning reel. I used to use the suffix 832. But I have found, now granted, I haven't used it yet actually on my spinner rod yet, the Pro Mix. But I have found myself to really like this braid. It feels like it has really good strength. Um, it's pliable, which the Easy Braid was not. The, the Easy Braid was so th ah, stiff. It was just so stiff that I just, I found myself just constantly rat's nesting and all the, that non-fun stuff of fishing. I found that Easy Braid to be extremely cheap. Makes sense, right? I think I spent like $10. I spent $10 on 300 yards and I see why, so. No luck. We're gonna try soft plastics. Now I do have a craw tied on. I do think I'm gonna need a worm, but I just, honestly, I think, I just wanna feel a, a, a tug, right? Like I just wanna feel some sort of activity because it does it makes me really sad that this this pond could potentially be dead since it being my like honey my original honey hole i've i've had a lot of good experiences here at this pond and i'd be very sad to see it die now granted i did catch a giant sunfish bluegill but you know what, so I actually, so I've been a big fan of craws lately. I don't know how well you guys can see these, but at Walmart right now, if you look in the bins, they're usually in the creme, the cream plastics, C-R-E-M-E. -E. But there's another bin that has, at least my Walmart just put it in, a bin with some like cheaper lures. So for example, I got these for $2.50. These are yum, it says yum crawdad assist. I don't know, but there are some, some, uh, june bug color craws which i really might try to so i don't have a lot of worms with me all i have is the some chartreuse with me because i've been such on a, a craw you know i got these two two dollars fifty cents these are some like natural looking craws these look really good they look stinky but i'm not going to use these yet those are not for here but i'm gonna bring these two with me actually again i don't have i forgot to bring forgot to bring some uh some worms i only have my chartreuse my chartreuse tinfoil which i like but i don't have any other worm color so i actually need to pick up some worms i think this this pond will be better with worms oh i guess i do have i do have those little finesse worms those finesse tail worms some trick worms i don't know but make a loop i'm bringing them with me stuff in my pocket i think the june bug will be fun to throw too i've never thrown a june, june bug colored cross so i'd like to see how well it does there's so many turtles in here i think I think this has become a de desert in here. There, oh, there's a there's a bluegill, a little sunfish right there in front of me. But there, look at there's no vegetation, zero vegetation, and that makes me really sad. There's no way these fish are surviving very well, and it kind of makes me sad actually. I mean, I don't know why they're nuking this pond for the weeds because it's just a retention pond. Like I don't get it. Like I don't see any weeds. It looks like a desert. So I know these fish are stressed. I know they are. With the craw, or with the crow. Oh, 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 I'm getting pecked. Oh, had something, had something, had something. 
Something was pulling it. I don't know if my, my drag was really that loose. Had something pulling it. Let's get it back over there. Kind of felt decent. But you can see how low the... I mean, this 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 was really high too. I mean, that bush, that lower bush, for example, the water was all the way up to that at one point. And so now you can see, like, not only is it low from there, but it's also low into the pond. So I know these fish are stressing. But I do. I think they're going to hide. They're hiding in this corner. I mean, that's where I would be. That's my only bite. Let's keep walking around. So again, I don't know how deep it is right here. I don't think it's very deep. I mean, that could have just been a really aggressive bluegill. But I just don't think it was. Like, I just don't. I want to see if I can cast it under here, but it's really hard for me to get. Oh, imagine. Oh, I got a fish. Got a fish. I would be in there too. I would be in there too. Look how dark you are. Look at that. How cool was that? I would be in there too. Look how dark you are. <laughs> That was really cool. First cast, I was worried about my, my fluorocarbon breaking. Wow, you are you are a big guy. You are a big guy. I would be I would be hiding in there too. Dude, how epic. How epic. Dude, you are massive too. There he is. Wow, look how dark he is. Let me see if I can get him in the sun. Look at that. Wow, wow you are blue and beautiful. There he is. Look at that. That is a beautiful, I mean, how cool is that? So most likely there's no bass in there. I doubt there's any bass in there, but how cool is that? Let me see if I can get a picture with him. I think, and again, I've always, I've always wanted to, oh, no, no, we can't go back in the water yet, not yet, bud. I've always wanted to cast in there. I've always wanted to cast in there, but I've never had any luck. So let's see. All right, let's get him in. Thank you. We're not skunked. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. There he goes. I'm sure he's going to... He's bolting out that way. But I bet he goes right back in there. I kind of want to cast in there again. I should have actually probably cat, dropped him a little bit farther away from that drain. I was worried that him rubbing against the concrete would break my fluoro, but it didn't. Wow, how cool is that, man? First cast in there. I've always wanted to do it and I just, I could never really get an angle. And honestly, I think my skill level has gone up just a little bit with fishing in the sense of casting. So it was cool to like throw it in there and first cast, get it right in there. All right, we're gonna leave those guys alone. Let's see if we can cast somewhere else. So I have now the chartreuse worm on. See if we can get any bites on that. So I actually asked you guys, and I, I probably will post this video before my other videos, but I did ask you guys how you guys felt about music lead ups. I know I kind of, you know, I kind of got it from other YouTubers, right? You watch other two YouTubers videos and they always have like a lead up, some dubstepy song, some electronic music song leading up to the catch. And I actually asked you guys how you felt about that kind of like lead up. Oh, I feel like something just pecked it. And uh, a lot of you guys said you didn't like it. So I'm actually going to do kind of like a, not like a study, but I'm going to pay attention to my videos and how well they do with or without the music. So you'll notice some videos might have it, some videos don't. And uh, I want to really just see if it affects in the channel growth, affects length of video watch, things like that. We'll see how it goes. Oh, we're headed over here to the other pond and it looks like we have some other people fishing as well. But I'm gonna walk on this side because last time I fished, they were all on that bank where the drain is. So I'm hoping, I mean, we can still pull some out there. Still have the craw tied on. Last time I caught him here, this actually looks pretty full. Last time I was here, I caught him with the power bait, uh, watermelon, ooh, I forgot the name of the worm, however, I'll link the video up and uh, down in the description. You guys can check it out. But I'm gonna fish over in this corner because again, last time I last time I fished here, they were all over here. So I'm hopeful 
Maybe we can pull some out. Again, I don't have the lure that I was using, but we'll give it a shot. Maybe they haven't killed off all the weeds in this one. Let's see. Let's see, come on. See if they're still in this corner. I just wish I had my worms. I was super confident with the worm here. Very, very confident. I mean, it was like dropping it on their head and they were just going after it. Oh, I think I might've just hooked a carp. That didn't look like a bass. I might've just hooked a carp. I'm not really sure on that one. That was a very big bass though, if it was a bass. That was a very big bass. Again, I don't think it matters what the, the lure looks like. Sometimes I think they're willing to just go after whatever, even if it only has one claw. And I actually think that was on a straight retrieve. I've been very happy with these menace craws. Heart's racing a little bit. Nice little adrenaline rush. It's also probably because those kids are over there making me all nervous. I'm like, oh yeah, caught a fish, yeah. Look at me. <laughs> Oh, he slipped it twice. God, how? He slipped it twice. There's a big fish right here. I wonder if it's a bed. Big fish twice. I'm not really hook setting, I guess, hard enough. I could try to throw a different colored craw. Oh, I'm just sad that I lost him twice. Twice. I'm going to do one more cast right here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna change my hook. I think the four op might be a little too big for this, these little ponds. Now granted, again, that last, that last fish was definitely big enough to take it, but I've been kind of striking out with these EWGs. I've had more luck with the worm hooks on hook ratio. We're gonna change, we're gonna change hooks. We're gonna change weights. My leader feels fine-ish. Actually, no, it's kind of frayed. So I have, Decent amount of leader up to here, so we'll cut that off. We're gonna do the, uh, ouch. A little bit darker color because of this mud. Do the June bug. So I'm using the Yum Craw. It's, I think it is a June bug color. Smaller hook. See, I mean, now granted, if I don't get any bites on it, then I have a feeling it's the green pumpkin they're after, but I figured like a darker color would be nice for these fish to see. All right, let's go back over here. So again, using the yum craw here, it's a June bug color. Never fished with a June bug color. I would assume it's probably pretty good for this kind of water clarity. And again, I've just, I've been seeing the black, the black backs of these fish. I'm just hoping I can catch one of them. All right, so they're over here. So let's, I wonder if bass may think this is a bluegill too. That might be a good presentation for it. Nice trailer. No, I don't know if they're feeling the June bug. I'm going to go, I think I might go back to the green pumpkin craw. I had more luck with that than this so far. I've, at least with the green pumpkin craw, I had at least some some pulls and some bites and stuff. I really haven't felt much so far. I don't think they're feeling this. I really don't. I haven't had any sort of, I had maybe one. I maybe had one sort of pull on it, but otherwise, might just be the color. There we go. There we go. So what I did on that cast is I was re retrieving it. I was like, if I can make it look like a bluegill, then maybe a bass will come after it. And that's kind of what I did there. I made it, made it look like a bluegill. So instead of hopping it like a craw, instead of hopping it like a craw, I actually just retrieved it. Just straight retrieved it past the grasses. That's exactly what he wanted. So maybe they, maybe they want a craw, um, a, bl a bluegill. Small, 
but bass is a bass you know this isn't this isn't my old honey hole but there she is let me uh i do i think i lost i mean that was probably a big bass that i lost right over in this corner i'm saddened by it but maybe we can get another one so i'm i wonder if they're wanting i wonder if they're wanting a kind of like a A retrieve on it versus just a hop all right as i wrap up i'm a little sad you know other than missing that fish which it makes me pretty sad really what i'm mostly sad about is how my actual honey hole has now become kind of like a, a wasteland desert doesn't feel like there's any fish in there obviously i caught a big bluegill in there but other than that it just it feels very quiet and i know i have caught bass in there but i haven't seen a bass jump i haven't seen a bass come at my lure like it's just been so quiet and so it's kind of sad but otherwise i hope you guys enjoyed this little bonus video also if you've made it through this entire video here is the winner of the lazy baits custom painted spook congratulations make sure you dm me on instagram so you can claim your prize thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this content make sure you guys like and subscribe i'll see you guys soon peace